Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is an Operations Management Aggregate Planning homework video, uh, Excel tutorial for Plan 1 level capacity. So let's bring up the problem. Now in this problem, these numbers will probably be different than yours, so this will uh, show you the process, uh, but it's not the exact, exact the homework. Uh, the numbers are a little bit different. For this homework, consider the following scenario. You are on the aggregate planning committee where possible aggregate plans are going to be discussed. Before the first meeting, everyone received the following memo in preparation for the meeting. You are invited to be a member of the planning committee that would consider alternative aggregate plans for the next fiscal year. As you know, we have been operating under a level capacity aggregate plan for the last few years. That'll be important to remember. Maintaining a constant workforce is important to us for morale and productivity, but we believe it is time to at least consider alternative plans that could lower cost and possibly create efficiencies. However, we want to be careful that we do not disrupt our culture. Initially, we want to investigate cost implications of different plans in this first meeting. In preparation, we have collected the following information on which to base our planning. So you see, we in this paragraph, we have all the parameters and the values uh, to, to start the analysis. So let's start filling up Excel with this, these numbers. Our labor standard is still 60 minutes, minutes uh, per item for our standard 40-hour work week. Okay, so let's, let's bring in Excel. Uh, let's move this over here and make this a little larger. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's come down here a ways and say, okay, now our labor standard equals, this is 16 uh, minutes per item. Okay, um, let's see here. And then our current wages for our workers, well, since we have the labor standard, we might as well go ahead and calculate the production standard. Now it's for a 40 hour work week in a 52 week year. So this equals 40 hours a week times 52 weeks in a year. That's how many hours um, in a year. Divided by 12 because it's going to be monthly. Uh, and then divide that by our labor standard, which is 16 minutes. Divide that by 60 to transform the minutes to hours. So there'll be 650 um, uh, items. Uh, per month. Okay, so there's our beginning. Okay, next is uh, our current wages for our workers are $27 per hour. Okay, so this is regular time uh, cost. And that's going to be 27 and that's dollars per hour. Whoops. Uh, dollars per hour. Okay, um, now we're, we're not going to be working in hours, we're going to be working in items. So let's take our regular time cost and transform this to dollars per item of production. Oh, well, that's going to be the labor standard. Okay, that's going to equal $27 per hour. Then how many hours per item? That's going to be times uh, 16 minutes per item divided by 60 to transform to hours. So it's going to be $7.20 per item. So that's going to be our our, uh, our regular time um, wages or, or cost for our workers. Okay, let's go on. Start filling up these values. We want to keep our beginning annual inventory uh, and ending annual inventory at 5,800 items uh, to maintain a low risk of stock out. So now we're going to have a, uh, a beginning inventory and an ending inventory and both of these are going to be 5,800. Okay, and this is annual. Kind of high, but they just want to make sure they don't have stock out. Okay, uh, for the next fiscal year, the forecasted demand that we will use in our analysis is given there. Okay, so now in this case, let's take these values, Control C, 
and let's go to, to uh, Excel. Now, when we put them in Excel, we really, let's full screen this, we really want this to be a, uh, a column vector. Probably the easiest way to do it is, and this is the way I like to do it, uh, I'm sure there's better ways, uh, but this is a, a quick way. Uh, let's take a blank Word file, and then let's just format it in Word, and then from Word, we'll go to, uh, let's bring this in the center, we'll go to Excel. So first, let's make a column vector of all the numbers, and there they are. And then let's clean it up a little bit. Now, once we have uh, all these in a column, then we can take this and copy it into Excel. So we take this Control C and copy, uh, minimize this, bring Excel back, and let's full screen this. Now over here, we can take this and say, ready, go. And there it is. Now, these are going to be numerical or alphanumeric. So we control C and we come over here a ways uh, and right click and make sure we paste just the values. And then we alt E D to delete that. So here's our demand. Okay. And here's the months. One uh, equals one plus this, whoops, one. This is going to be equal one plus this. And then we'll bring this down to 12. And there it is. Okay. And let's go ahead and center this so that uh, it looks it's easier to manage. Okay. So let's see here. What else do we have? After an inventory analysis, we have estimated our carrying cost of inventory to be 525 items per month. Okay. Down here, our carrying cost is uh, 5.25. That is dollars per item per month. And I, again, we're, uh, we've done this before. We know we're going to be doing the average of the entire year. So let's just transform this to a year. Uh, since that's the carrying cost per month, uh, that's going to equal 12 times 525 per month, and that's going to be the uh, the dollars per item per year. Okay, so then let's come down. Uh, level capacity. Okay, so this is the first plan. Before the meeting, Don asks you to bring them to the meeting the values for the level plan to start the discussion, since that has been the strategy in the past. You obtain the solution and cost analysis values for a level plan from the memo information and bring it to the meeting and here are the values. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, come down here. Let's go ahead and full screen this. Okay. We have our demand here. Next, we want our production plan, level capacity production plan. And that's simply going to be the average of uh, the entire demand. Equal this. Copy this down. Okay. We can see here, let's bring back our uh, problem. And then bring back Excel. Okay. Uh, we see here the production for month one is 29000 250. Yes, that's exactly what we have. Okay. Uh, statement two, the monthly FTE requirements is 45. Okay, now we need the monthly FTE requirements. Okay, the FTE requirements is going to equal your production uh, divided by your production standard, 650. And there you have 45. And that's going to be the same uh, all the way down. So this will equal the 650F4, um, whoops, let's back up, equal our production divided by 650F4 to freeze it. There we go. Uh, and then we'll just uh, bring it down. So it's all going to be 45. Okay, what else? Uh, the total annual inventory carrying cost. Okay, so let's look at the carrying cost. So now we'll have the beginning inventory 
and the ending inventory for every month. Well, we know the beginning is going to equal 5,800, and then we need our equilibrium equations for conservation of, of uh, inventory, which is equal to our beginning inventory, plus our production, minus our demand. And that's going to be our ending inventory for the whole year. The beginning inventory will equal the ending inventory of the previous time period, and we can copy that down. And so there's our inventory. And let's see here what they're asking here. The total annual inventory carrying cost. Okay. So here's where we can have our average here. Actually, let's come over here and let's do the sum. Average. And then total. Well, then the unit cost. And then the total. Okay, equal to sum of all of these. Copy this over. Okay, uh, and this would be the average here. And remember, uh, the average, just to be safe, you take all the way from uh, the beginning all the way to the end. Okay, and now we can put our unit costs in here. Well, the only unit cost we have is going to be our inventory carrying cost for now. $63 per item per year. And the total is going to be this times this. And there it is. Okay. And sure enough, we're going to have uh, 320775. And uh, yep, 320775. And then statement four, the total annual cost, which is the cost of the annual regular time production, plus the annual inventory carrying cost. We have the carrying cost. So next is the uh, uh, regular time production. Well, for the production, we have the sum here. Uh, so now we need the, uh, the uh, unit cost, which is for an item is 720. And then this will equal the number you're making times how much it costs per item to make. And then the total over here will be the sum of these two. This plus this. And it'll be that number right there. And sure enough, 2847975. And there we go. Okay. So this, so here's, and let's uh, clean this up a little bit center everything. Uh, and then right here, let's just uh, box this in just to be neat. There we go. And these right here, we can box this in. There we go. And this can be boxed. And this can be boxed. And finally, this is boxed. And this right here, right down here, Let's make this a dark one because this is our level capacity. Okay, let's justify and there we go. And let's go ahead and write justify this and then we can uh, write justify this. And let's left justify these to make them work. And there's our level capacity, and there are the numbers. Okay, so that's uh, how we would do this. And so this is for the level capacity. And this is what I refer to as plan one, or level capacity, plan one of four plans I will do in the video. And I'll do plans two, three, and four in other videos. That's all I have for here, for now. And so between now and the next time I see you, everyone uh, be safe and take care.